Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And I've noticed something more and more often. Um, at the tool departments at some of the big boxes, uh, one in particular, um, I noticed that they sometimes are selling on reduced prices uh, broken tools uh, like this. This was six bucks. Now it's one dollar, so I picked it up mainly because I wanted to kind of do a thought exercise here, study this. Uh, it's a USA made with global materials craftsman utility knife. Um, and I looked at it close. Um, and I don't know if it's ever been opened. I'm opening it here, right in front of you here. Um, and so it looks fine, um, but it's got no... Uh, no little slider knob there. So I, I got a screwdriver and I could I can move this thing. Um, but I don't know, is this broken? Um, so let's crack it open here. Now what I'm wondering is, can I just take this to the store and ask for a warranty replacement? I mean, and turn my $1 into my $6 tool? I don't know. Uh, that's exactly what I'm gonna find out and I'll let you know because this is, not really all that functional, and I don't know why they'd sell a broken knife. Um, see if I can get this thing open. There we go. Typical, all falls apart. Oh, there is a, there are blades in it. You can see they're Craftsman blades. Um, by the way, I really like Fisker's blades. These are not Fisker's blades, by the way. These are Milwaukee blades. I know they're Stanley blades. They were in my Milwaukee, though. Odd. Anyway, um, that's because I put my my uh, Fisker blade, Fisker's blades, into you can read any of these into my Milwaukee because I really like the Fisker's blades. They're just wonderful. Um, so I just swapped them out. Anyway, not why we're here. So I decided I'd get this thing, uh, explore it. Because it's broken and it's Craftsman, and Craftsman, it says, has a lifetime warranty, well, now I'm going to go see if I can warranty it, which, I don't know, what are they going to do? Are they going to just put it back out on the shelf again with another tag, and then I just buy it again and return it? I, I, I don't understand the defective tools being sold, and I have seen that. It used to be, you know, way back in the day, some of you will remember, we used to go to Sears and they kind of had this one end cap at the end of one aisle and that's where they had uh, some of the closeouts but also they might have tools where uh, they either had to cannibalize a, a set in order to do a warranty replacement or something happened and one, one of the set is missing um, or one piece of the, uh, the tool, one accessory usually was missing and they'd have a really good deal on it. Um, and I always would check there because sometimes you just find great stuff. Or somebody bought a hammer and they hit one nail with it and didn't like it and brought it back so there's a scuff on it. So it's a perfectly good hammer. But this absolutely doesn't work from the start. And I knew that when I got it because it's missing whatever piece goes on this um, to allow this to slide back and forth with the blade. Um, but they don't mind selling it. Uh, so I'm wondering, is this is this localized? Is this something that you've seen? Um, do you have uh, any particular opinions about them putting used or broken tools back out on the shelf? Um, anyway, let me know in the comments. I'm curious because this I'm starting to see this more and more, and I'm wondering if it's a way of handling the um, you know maybe the the supply chain shortage. Although it's I've seen it for a lot longer than that's been going on, um, or if it's just uh, kind of becoming a policy you know if there's enough of the tool left put it out it's almost like a second hand store then except it's a big box anyway let me know what you think um and what your experiences are i want to start a dialogue about this because it it's uh more prevalent and with that doc out